Major spoilers ahead for Warframe, if you've not caught up to the sacrifice quest, then please click off this video. You've been warned. We took our greatest, volunteers or not, and polluted them with these cultured reagents. They transformed. They became infested. Salutations everyone, my name is Sulta and welcome to the video. Today I'll be discussing something that crossed my mind a few nights ago about one of Warframe's bosses and whether or not it can be considered a Warframe or some form of a lesser Warframe. If you've beaten the sacrifice, you know the true nature of Warframes, human test subjects that have been infected with a strain of the infestation known as the Helminth strain. This strain of the infestation is more compatible with individuals to better form a hybrid of both human anatomy and infestation benefits. The Helminth strain allows any human infected to form steel-like skin, mutating their genome to become more resilient in combat, along with the ability to keep them sane throughout this whole process without destroying their minds. Keep in mind, Warframes come from a specific strain of the infestation created by the Orican. But what about the Zeloids that appear in Nightwave Series 2, The Emissary? As some of you are aware, Series 2 of the Nightwave revolved around a cult that worshipped a child who was secretly infested. Arlo was the name and playing Doctor was his game. Using the infested powers within him, Arlo was able to cure the ailments of individuals who would come to him. This of course led to a cult worshipping of his abilities and the infestation in general. By the end of the Nightwave, however, the infestation had turned worshippers into human infested hybrids known as Zeloids. This begs the question, could Zeloids be lesser Warframes? They meet most of the requirements to be considered one. They're human infested hybrids with frame-like powers and abilities. The only thing that's different from them is that they are self-aware and able to move without the control of an operator. Warframes are more akin to inanimate golems controlled by pilots. Zeloids, however, do not require this sort of mechanic to function. They are individuals connected to the hive mind of the infestation. I don't believe an operator would be able to control a Zeloid with the transference, however, because the subject must usually be willing or sedated for this to be the case. We can clearly see a single-minded personality within Zeoloids. They speak as if they are one creature in a hive mind, so it's possible that Zeoloids have some resemblance to individuality within them, something that would make controlling them one very difficult. We were not able to control Umbra until he gave us permission. Throughout the boss fight, the Zeoloid prelate refers to you as an imposter or beautiful. Imposter. There is one line that even stands out to me. Your strength valuable, your self worthless. Your strength, valuable, yourself, worthless. This could be referring to the operator piloting the Warframe or the Warframe's resistance to the high mind's control. Throughout this whole fight, the Zeloid Prelate mentions oneself. This could be a reference to the infested wanting to control and use the Warframe for themselves by separating its willingness away from the operator. It would definitely be interesting to see how much Warframes are connected to the infested. Zeloids look as if they are evolving human hybrids, probably a forced attempt by the infested in their next stage of evolution to compete with Warframes. I recall in a dev stream that DE wanted to make more nemesis-like enemies for the various factions. It would definitely be interesting to see the Zeloids return with a more evolved state and possible connections to Warframes themselves, but that may be some ways off. Imagine though, if you were to kill an infested surrogate, and it was able to replicate some if not all of your Warframes characteristics and abilities, as if some poor attempt at a clone from an imprint you left on it. It's not too far off considering we can take cysts off of our Warframes and put them in Kubro eggs, a Kubro Warframe hybrid. Hybrid. Anyways, that's it for this video. It was extremely short, but that's how I like it. But before you click off this video, maybe you could help me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. It might not seem like much, but it really helps my channel out and you'd be doing me a huge favor. Also, if you're interested, I have more Warframe content on this channel, so check those out as well. If you want to catch my live streams, head over to my Twitch. I'll leave a link in the pinned tweet in the description below. I mostly stream Warframe, but occasionally some other games come my way. Oh, and uh, I have a Discord server for anyone interested as well, so feel free to join in and catch me over there. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.